Neil, you said that you'd missed that winning feeling. How'd you feel? To be honest with you, it was, uh, didn't even get time in the game to enjoy it. It's probably similar to Halifax with the point the other day. Um, you know, I spent the first 23 minutes thinking, right, this, this is more like us. I thought we, uh, we, we, are we good or not? No, you're fine. Yeah, sorry, yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, after the first 23 minutes, I thought we were a bit more like our old self. I thought we could have maybe been one or two up. Um, and then we stopped doing a lot of things and we made the game scrappy and hard. Um, and obviously we're conceding, as we know, probably too many goals. And that's something I've just said in there. Um, but when a team's got a weapon like their guy has with the long throw, he's a good player and he's got a long throw. And, you know, every time they get a throw in, that ball comes in your box and five or six players are in there. You have to defend for your lives. And, um, you know, they've always got a chance. And like I say, we had to hang on in there and, and battle in and finally we came good. What did your team show with two goals in stoppage time? A number of things. Um, I've talked to them about chasing the game. You know, we can't always play our way through teams and and you know make it happen with patterns of play and nice movement sometimes it's got to be just asking questions of them particularly when you're chasing a game and the opposition have got back behind the ball and trying to defend for their lives so you know I said to them in there that's how you have to chase a game you have to just commit your full back play 2v2 at the back sometimes and keep putting the ball in the box and asking questions and getting free kicks and scored three goals from set pieces today. Uh, I guess overall thoughts on the performance won't make you overly happy this <clears throat> evening. No, um, there was times where we were a bit of six, and even when we changed, you know, we changed to try and win the game. We could see that the front three weren't quite having the effect we wanted them to. We went to a, a you know, a, a front two and, and midfield four, and I thought the two subs come on and were excellent. And we started to get momentum in the game, but then, you know, again, it's that feeling maybe of playing for Notts County, we should be winning, and, and then you start chasing the game too early and running out of shape, and we had midfielders bombing on and stuff like that, and then we caused ourselves our own problems. And, um, you know, it was just, no, we changed 4 4 2, work from your shape and keep going. And, uh, like I say, it ended up at one spell backfiring on us because we, we found ourselves behind. Uh, it's interesting what you say there about the, the maybe the, the pressure of, <clears throat> of playing for Notts County and that feeling of, of expectation and without the fans being here I wonder whether or not even though it's only been prior to this game three games but because of all the fixture disruption it had been five weeks since a win mm -hmm. whether pressure was weighing a little bit on you and your players. I, I'm not going to lie it, it's not weighed on me because uh, the way I try and work as a manager is I have to be you know, I have to be calm. I have to, uh, you know, anyone that work runs with emotions going to be doing a lot of things wrong. So I have to be calm and think clearly about what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I, I don't disagree with you. I think I could see today we, we're still not playing where how we can play and there's still that bit of nervousness in it. But that is probably due to the fact that confidence isn't sky high. But that at the end there, if, if you ever needed anything to give you an injection of confidence, that's going to give it now, isn't it? Is that the sort of result this evening? And I guess the answer will be time will tell, but is that the, the sort of result that, that can turn a season if it needed turning? It can. Um, it, only, it only can if you, you know, come off the back of this and do everything right going forward. Um, you know, we're back at home next Friday for the first time in what seems like a lifetime. So, I was going to say, um, you remember what it looks like. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, hopefully, you know, we can be strong at home like we was last season. But but you have to do right things because at the moment, as you can see, there's seems throughout all four leagues, there's a lot of strange results going on with no fans here. And, you know, we want to make sure that that doesn't happen to us as well. What have you told your players in the changing room or the conference room that you're changing in yeah. this evening? Um, a number of things. We've got to defend better. We've got to, um, we can't keep conceding goals. Poor goals today for me. Um, we've, um, you know, we've got to... One thing I did say to the lads is if you're behind in the game or things, you've got to stick together. Um, that was something I said before the game. You know, teams that, teams that spiral out of control and go on a really poor run is where they start getting at each other. So we've worked hard at keeping the spirit of the boys high and especially after what happened on Tuesday night and lifting them and keeping them the togetherness there. And that's what I just said to them. Your togetherness in the end got you back in the game and, and a big well done to the subs who come on and made a huge difference. Indeed. Um, Alex Lacey wasn't involved today. That was the, the heel problem, is it, that you mentioned to us on Tuesday? Yeah, we've got a few. Obviously, Damien's trying to come back. Wes, Wes Thomas has, um, you know, has had problems with a kidney stone and, and that's been really painful. So he's, he's trying to get over that. Um, and then we've got two sort of chronic injuries in Alex and Callum Roberts. I know Cal's played the full game, but Cal can barely walk in there now. So, you know, Cal's got a chronic problem in, in, in just in above his, uh, his sort of groin area. And, and, and he's got a, you know, it's going to be a long road, but it's one of them things that won't just get better overnight. 
So we've got to manage Cal, we've got to manage Alex Lacey, who's got his Achilles. And again, it's not something that's just going to get better. It needs, he's going to have to play in pain when he does play, and so's Cal. And not ideal, but it's where we are at the moment. With all that being said, then, is, is there any part of you that's looking at trying to bring an extra body or two in? Um, not at the moment. At the moment, uh, I'd like to get Alex, Wes and Damien McCrory back. I think they're three players that, if they were in the starting lineup, you you wouldn't you know you wouldn't bat an eyelid at so so we'd like to get them back and what's really pleasing today is the players who I'm trying to give the time to to, to become the players we hope they are Eli and 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 um, Ruben and, and Jimmy Knowles people like that they're really starting to shine in training now so hopefully that and a bit of confidence in the group and, and we might be able to get a little run going. Just finally um, when the 90th minute ticked around and you were losing 2-1 what were you thinking? <laughs> just you, you, you don't have too much time to think. I'm thinking about pushing the lads forward and keep. You know, I was trying to tell D. D was worried about Dion at left back that we were free. We were two v two at the back, and I'm saying, don't worry about that. Just go on, and you've, you know, we're chasing a game with two or three minutes to go. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about that, and, and obviously you do start thinking of what you're going to say to the players if if the, you can't turn it around, and what you might say to you guys and. And that is that I've got to stick with them and I've got to, you know, lift them and drive them and try and get them all into the form of their lives because we're probably not there at the moment. Um, players who we know are really good players aren't quite sparkling like they can and we've just got to keep going until we get there.